We've documented that everywhere, but it mostly it could happen to any woman, but it mostly happens to women who are vulnerable because of race, ethnicity, age, socioeconomic status. Uh, women are very poorly treated. In fact, they are subjected to completely unacceptable mm -hmm. behaviors. Uh, sometimes they are slapped. Uh, they are spoken to in a very rude way. They are retained uh, in facilities sometimes because they cannot pay. Uh, they, uh, well, obviously uh, their informed consent is not uh, asked for. So there are so many ways women are poorly treated. And that's the experience of care. So we've been talking mostly about clinical care, which is obviously essential. But it, the way women experience uh, their childbirth uh, is also critical. Mm -hmm. uh, if their symptoms are dismissed, as some of my colleagues here were saying, obviously there are immediate consequences. But even when that's not the situation, uh, when women are poorly treated, uh, they will mistrust the medical system, the health system, and they may not come back mm -hmm. when they have another pregnancy and when they have a complication. And probably they will spread the word in their communities that uh, that's a facility or a place where you are not treated as you deserve.